Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today we're gonna play some song. more. Beats me. The Casting of Frank Stone, Chapter Two. If you Hello? haven't, if you haven't seen the Let's first part, I recommend you do, because otherwise you don't understand anything from it. I still don't even understand anything um, from it. Hello, we've arrived. But so far, I'm really, really liking this game. Uh, look around and find Augustine Lieber. Can't go there. I'm, 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 I'm kind of taking my time. Like I said in the first video, I'm, I'm gonna see if that. No, not going upstairs yet. Oh, okay. Still got the wooden horse and everything. But I'm gonna take my time because I wanna explore everything, I wanna try everything, I wanna... Can I talk with you? I can't talk with you, alright. I think we have to go upstairs, but let's go here first. I don't know how this game... So, not this way. Just try again. I can't call her for help. Oh, this seems a bit more lively. Okay, this is the way forward then, because it's it says that with those arrows at the bottom, bottom right now, open. That means that once you go in there, the story will progress. So let's go upstairs. See? Oh. Secrets. Huh. Well, even I could play this. D B C D B B D B B. Dun 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 dun. I don't. I can't do that. Uh, do I have to? Let me f quickly take a picture of it. There we go. Uh, just in case. Is this like a secret where I can play on the piano and the door will open, perhaps? That would be cool. That's nothing. That's nothing! Thank you. Hello. There's also... something in here. Really uh. digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> See, here's the piano. Let me first quickly check around. I'm, I'm kind of... What's this? I'm kind of scared that I'm going to kill everyone. Mrs. Lieber, I am writing to confirm that, as per your instruction, I have asked the staff to take leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your visitors arriving. I recall hearing mention that your visitors are all collectors with a shared interest to yourself. If this is the case, would it not be preferable, even desirable, to keep one trusted staff member on hand to handle any precious items if required? I recommend myself for this duty, and do not consider it below my station, for I would relish the chance to glimpse and handle your precious items in the private reliquary. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but I'm sorry if I butchered it. Uh, should it be needed. I am only a short drive away if called upon, and you needn't concern yourself with discretion. In my three years of service as the state manager of Garant Manor, I have proven to be a model of reserve, property, and reliability. I await your response with keen anticipation, your devoted servant, J.F. Grimes. Well, J.F. Grimes? Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. That's Maybe. not... That's not what it said. Lieber asked them to leave to vacate the premises. Bruno Stanford III, Esquire, business connoisseur, 
Behind all good ideas is the plan. Behind great ones is Stan. Looking forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's not That's what it today. says. Looking forward to doing business. If you mean what you promise, I'm sure this evening will be worth both our whiles. See you on the 13th. And please call me Stan. P.S. Got a good number for one of those British black hats. My usual guy's indisposed, so to speak. He's arrested. I think we might not be the only ones here. Business connoisseur? He's a snob about business? Yuck. Okay, now I'm gonna play on the piano. Do you play? Um, a, a little. little. Ah! <laughs> Secrets? Secrets? Whoa. Secrets! Crazy, right? This? Uh, yeah. This is why I wanna... Oh. You've seen a real secret passage before? Uh, it's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors. To allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich, stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Okay. This is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah, that's a little odd. Oh, God. This is when some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from the basement, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. We've been invited here for a reason. To get slaughtered? I don't think it's so our host can wear our faces as leather masks. You don't know. <sighs> That's super comforting. Ed Gein didn't ask for that by anyone else. He just did it. Hello? Oh. I don't know what these are. Kid the must huntress. have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. The lullaby that haunts... I didn't catch that. But uh, what, what is this? Are these characters of Dead by Daylight? Because I don't know anything about that game. I'll be back. No. Yes. Okay. Are you ready? I don't know where you are, but are you ready? Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. Oh, you're Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Business connoisseur. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Uh, sir. Middle name Lexington? What? Midtown. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Oh my god. Um. Stan. That wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford III. That's your beck and call. But only if you call me Stan. Oh, Stan, this is... Linda Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III. That's your beck and call. 
Only if you call me Stan. Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. Truly. <laughs> uh, so, what's going on right now? Uh, well, I think our new friend here is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. Hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are not little. You're a filmmaker? Uh, yeah. I've made some movies. <laughs> a lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? No. Blood Point? No. Blood Benders? No. The blade may swing in both directions, but death only moves in one. What? Um, no. Sorry. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but... It involves money and fast cars and trading. Well, nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. Obviously. Uh, that's locked. Ooh. The Epic of Gilgamesh. Oh god. Okay. A bit of light bedtime reading. Tablet 5. The slaying of Humbaba. My friend, Humbaba, guardian of the forest, grind up, kill, pulverize, and destroy him. Before the preeminent god Enlil hears, and the gods are full of rage at us. Enlil is in Nippur, Shamas is in Sippar. Erect an eternal monument proclaiming how Gilgamesh killed Humbaba. They tied together a raft, Enkidu steered it while Gilgamesh held the head of Humbaba. Annotation. Read carefully, Norman. Study close what Enkidu tells Gilgamesh. He saw beyond Humbaba's pleas for clemency. Recognized sparing the demon would undo our hero's righteously won victory that a only a violent demonstration would stir the watching gods. There is no room for mercy in the pursuit of glory. The heavens will not open for a champion that shows restraint. I didn't understand any word of it. <laughs> a book attempting to illustrate to Norman how acts of violence could be heroic. Well, well yeah, it can be. Oh, sorry. Why am I saying sorry? Can I talk to you then? Or is that not possible? No, I don't want to pick it up. No, we're just gonna pace here around like three idiots. Well, I'll be the one who opens and discovers everything. All right. Pool. Huh. Murder mill. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Murder mill. Interesting choice indeed. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mill? Holy Shinobi. You're kidding, right? Holy Shinobi. No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait. This is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. It should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. 
I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Stan the fan. Huh. There you enter the murder mill. It's a nice post to do. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> Alright, I don't like Stan. Stan can die. Well, no. If it's... Ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. Augustine I'm so Lieber. very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. <sighs> After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. No. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And That's true. who are you? Augustine Lieber. I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again no. offer you a drink. No. No, that's okay. Uh, no, that's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. I can confirm. Yeah. Shut up, Stan. Stan King doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I don't fully trust Augustine. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth it. You the didn't effort. offer the other woman. Guess that's up to you now. Rude! Isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? <laughs> Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Ephemera? Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. <laughs> Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. I. I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. Oh, I really I will. think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Miss Castle. Ooh, the plot thickens.
We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. Ooh. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Ooh. Nice. Who are you? You just don't get it, do you? Jamie Lannister. You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Yeah, let's just wait for season eight, uh, Jeremy Lannister. No, no, no. My sister? Oh, God. Oh, all I have to do is betray my own sister and you will let me go free to fight another day god damn you <sighs> god damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice <laughs> perfect acting dude oh god fail to see what truly makes us human I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love my answer is no and there is nothing you can do to change my mind all right you alien scum do your worst I can take it You told him that you would rather die. Oh my god, Jamie! Really? You think so? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little? You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just <laughs> trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. <laughs> I was in the moment. I have to be allowed this to express is my artistic Linda instincts in the future, with the camera, right? too. Linda Linda Castle, was it? 
And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Uh, Chris, I trust, uh, you got to respect that. Trust Linda's judgment. Of course. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and... I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions, and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way. Oh. Because I'm the director. <laughs> Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Ooh. Oh, we're in a yeah. relationship. Oh. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Oh, my God. Gross. Mm. You that. guys want me to leave? Yeah. All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay. Sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right. Everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> Oops. Fuck. No. Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. We stepped up from uh, the you start of the video. I had a game. Sorry. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you... Miss Castle and Miss Dixie. <gasps> Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Tammy D. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. I think the relationship oh, goes down with this. Sir, we're, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. Without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it then, huh? The camera just needs to be fixed. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Bye, Sheriff. All wrapped out, sir. Now, don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir.
game looks really pretty though. Jesus! Well, that was the end of this chapter. I'll just wait till I get the controls again for uh, the character and then I'm gonna end this video. It wasn't a very long chapter though. But I do like it, all the different time, zo time zones that we have. We have one in present day, we had one in 1960, or I believe, something like that. Now 1980. Ugh, what a complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So, it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good, unless... You know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all... Like this? Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like... Our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Oh god. Uh, what do you think he was up to? Who were the victims? Who were the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Uh, excited. No means to get Do angry. Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. Buster? People are actually gonna wanna see this thing. We're gonna be like totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but like, what if they don't like what they see? Uh, we just gotta make sure these me? last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck, but not if our fucking camera is fucking broken. Ugh. Hey. Why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. I had no idea what you were saying. What? Uh, hi, Bunny. Uh, um. You want a piece of me, too? Hey, 
You okay? What's up? Nothing. It's fine. Mm. Didn't sound fine. As soon as Mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about Mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Oh, Sorry, God, Jamie. I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing Mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What do you what, need? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just... Speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks? That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You could be a part of it. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Fine. All right, it's a deal. This is taking a long time, isn't it, guys? Try not to waste it. Don't I'm worry. On. We'll put it to good use. Oh my god, there's more. Well, this whole chapter is talking. You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Oh, I'm sorry, I totally butchered your name, Jaime. Time! <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm, I'm sorry sure if you hear clerk will even know how to fix it. Like hey, thumping think noise positive. in the background. My so neighbor is else in town we rebuilding can stuff. What? Very what about annoying. There? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. The curiosity shops Good. even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk too. Your call, Chris. Always the curiosity shop. Why not? I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? Yes, I get it. Lead the way. Like I said, I will stop this. You just try this curious thing. Yeah. But as soon as I can walk with the characters, I'll stop the video. Man. I didn't know any better. I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And it half. is. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Ah, uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not going to put the best ones in the window. I got to look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out at the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Storekeeper. Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement 
for this? Of course you are. Please. Oh, please, come in, come, come in, make side. yourself comfortable. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. I think we're okay. going control now and again. be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Oh, Starkeeper, I will. But before we do home? that, here, I'm going to end know. the video. I think it's kind of cozy. Kind of? Failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there we go. Well, I'm going to leave it here. No. I hope you liked it. I, I certainly do. I'm really curious about this game. And... Please leave a like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and leave a comment in the comment section below what you think about the game. And I hope you... What was that? And I hope I will see you all in the next video. That was weird, right? Well, that's for another story. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.